Our next story is about a billionaire who has influenced politics and lifted entire economies. I'm talking about pop star Taylor Swift. These days, she is the center of the music world, and for good reason. She has won 12 Grammy Awards. Her era's tour is likely to be the highest grossing tour of all time, with over $2 billion in ticket sales alone. She dominates Super Bowl-sized arenas and movie theaters alike. She's even putting the National Football League on the map. Her political opinions have sway. At this point, it seems like she's a force of nature who can even make earthquakes happen, quite literally, because Taylor Swift is not just a performer, she is a phenomenon. Our next report tells you why. Now let's turn our attention to Argentina. It's having a presidential election. It's heading to a runoff vote next month between these two candidates left-winger Sergio Massa and far-right libertarian Javier Millet. After the polls closed on Sunday, Massa received the highest number of votes and Millet came in second. Now he has only weeks to pick up votes. But an unexpected quarter stands in his way. We're talking about Swifties or fans of the pop sensation Taylor Swift. Swifties have burst into Argentina's election campaign calling Millet a representative of the anti-democratic right. You see, Millet is a radical libertarian. He's proposed dollarizing Argentina's economy and legalizing organ trade. So Swifties are speaking against him and saying that they want to be on the right side of history. That's something Taylor Swift had said when she spoke against former US President Donald Trump in 2020. Now Swifties are following her example, even if it's hard to fight when the fight isn't fair. Swifties don't want to give up. That's the power of Swift. The pop star holds political sway. And it makes sense. Few artists have earned the chart hits, critical acclaim and fan support that Swift enjoys. Her career spans two decades. So far, she's won 12 Grammy Awards. She's had more number one albums on the Billboard 200 than any other woman. Her era's tour concludes next year. And it's likely to be the highest grossing tour of all time with about $2 billion in revenue. Swift is already a billionaire, but her success has also boosted economies. So far, the tour has increased consumer spending by $5 billion in the US. There's a term for this. It's called Swiftnomics. For many cities, she's not a nightmare dressed like a daydream. She is the dream. Swift boosted local economies. She even forced cities to ramp up poor transport systems and turned world leaders into reply guys. Remember Trudeau? But she doesn't just dominate Super Bowl-sized arenas. She's also taken over movie theatres. Her concert film has ranked in $96 million already. It's the highest-grossing film domestically for an opening weekend. It seems like everything she touches turns to a gold rush. She's even putting the National Football League on the map, at least for those who weren't into it. Every time there's news about her attending a game to see her boyfriend Travis Kelsey, the Kansas City Chiefs star, ticket prices go soaring. In one game, they increased by over 40%. After all, she doesn't love the drama, it loves her. Despite the ups and downs, the interrupted speeches, the media backlash, Taylor Swift has managed to stay relevant. To some, she's the new romantic. To others, she's the anti-hero. Call it what you want. Taylor Swift is here to stay. And from Swifties to global economies, everyone is thankful for it.